of that teacher's online presence. If the teacher is a bit uh, techno savvy, he would have it on Twitter or LinkedIn, right? But a perfect teacher would be whose presence is felt via online videos through YouTube, via blogs through blogit.com, or via XYZ websites, or his own presence of a website where he is talking about his own learning styles. We need to explore the power of technology in order to govern success, not only as a tag of having an FB Connect and having an N number of likes, but also to the presence of my online reputation management, how many Google links I am having, what is the percentage, how many counts we are having as a presence on the net, because you are not only talking and teaching the class 7B children, you are teaching as an individual to the global world these days, right? You have been Googled, you have been known as an individual, you are not just your uh, responsibility starts and ends with the perfection of teaching only 2200 students. Understanding the power of online reputation management, reflecting on your vision for learning in a digital age. Now, I was not fascinated, rather I was alarmed when I heard that many schools are thinking of conducting assemblies via Skype during summer vacation because they wanted that the children should be in a habit of morning prayer and the thought of the day. So many schools contributed that we will be having a webinar via Skype wherein all the children can log in using their respective username or password 